Hi, Emily. Thank you very much for your flashcard presentation on iron deficiency anemia. I'm going to be presenting the case presentation on this uh, disorder. So patient, patient SM is a two-year-old boy who presents to the pediatric clinic for a well-child visit. The patient has a severe nut allergy but is otherwise very healthy with no other medical or surgical history. When you ask his mom if she has any concerns for the visit, she states that he does have occasional constipation. He is developmentally appropriate, walking, talking, and sits quietly playing with a toy car while you examine him. He does not go to daycare and has not been recently ill. Upon exam, SM's vital signs were all within normal limits. His heart and lung sounds were normal. His abdomen was mildly distended. When you ask his mom uh, when his last bowel movement was, she says it was three days ago. And when you suggest increasing foods with fiber, such as pears or prunes, she says that he is a very picky eater and does not like many fruits. You ask what he typically eats during the course of a day. She states that he loves his milk and drinks about four to five eight ounce bottles of milk each day. She says other than that, he'll pick on crackers, pasta, and will have cheese and yogurt occasionally. Based on this history, your concern for this child is iron deficiency anemia, which is the most common nutritional deficiency in the world. Children who consume more than 24 ounces of cow's milk per day are at a higher risk of developing iron deficiency anemia, and SM's consumption exceeds this. His other sources of intake are low in iron, therefore leading to an unbalanced diet. To confirm this diagnosis, I would ask the mother if she would feel comfortable with SM getting some blood work. If she agrees, I would order a CBC and ferritin level. A hemoglobin of less than 11 grams per deciliter and a ferritin less than 15 micrograms per liter would confirm a diagnosis of iron deficiency anemia for this patient. My recommendations for this patient would be to first try to make lifestyle changes. So I would counsel his mother on limiting the amount of cow's milk he drinks per day to less than 24 ounces and try to introduce more iron-rich foods into his diet. I would give the mother a printed document of foods high in iron her son could eat, such as leafy greens, fortified cereal, and meat. Um, many of these options are also helpful for constipation, but I would also provide education on dietary changes to help this as well. For example, avoiding dairy products, increasing water intake, and increasing fruit and vegetable intake. I would then schedule a follow-up appointment with SM and his mother to recheck his labs in six months. If his anemia and low iron levels are still present, I would recommend starting this patient on an iron supplement to decrease any risk of complications of low iron levels. And the following are my three references for this. Thanks for listening.